Hey guys, it's freezing, man. I'm cold, I'm freezing, I'm frozen. Oh my God, this is not the life I'm used to. Ooh. Ooh. This is Flagstaff, Arizona, man. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for choosing to watch this <laughs> channel. Snow is falling and I'm cold. I'm frozen, guys. Ooh, do you see all this beautiful, beautiful view? Yes, yeah, stay tuned for more snow videos, <laughs> flagstaff videos. Man, it's cold, dude. Ooh, at Jazai. Moments like this, you just thank God for the heaters. Oh my God, guys. I don't know how we would drive around here with the kids and no heater in this car. At least we can keep ourselves warm. And also in the buildings, there are heaters. So for the people who keep asking me, how do you guys survive when it's really too cold like that? Or when it's hot? Yeah, we survive because of the heating. You know, you just heat up your home or heat up your car and when it's too hot you just turn on the air conditioning so thank god like in arizona you have to have air conditioning and heater working properly especially air conditioning my goodness um you can survive in like phoenix area you can survive without your ac working whoa my gosh you can do you know it gets like 115 degrees Fahrenheit during summer in Phoenix area, like the valley? <laughs> it gets really hot. So you can't, you can't, you can't survive. It's just like here uh, in Flagstaff. You can't survive without heater. I know in the summer, their summers are not that bad. But age, age, age. Oh my God, guys, you know what? Don't ever tell me to leave here because this place is so cold, but guess what? I love it. Look at all that white Christmas. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. This kind of cold or this kind of weather is the reason why I left UK. <laughs> I lived in UK for a while and I think, I can remember, I went to UK when I was a very, very, very young girl. Many, 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 many years ago. Many years ago. You guys know I'm old. So... Um, <laughs> so you can only imagine how many years that is like long time ago, like two decades ago, I was in UK and this is the reason why I left very quickly. I booked my flight and I had to go back home. Reason is terrible, horrible British weather. You know what? When I... When I told my friend that I want to go back home, my friends, they thought I'm crazy. They thought I'm losing it. And I was like, no, I can't live here. I can't survive here. I was getting depressed. You know, this kind of cold weather, it can depress you very fast. And I don't know why. I don't know whether that is why a lot of people in these um, countries, they suffer from depression. I don't know whether it's the weather, especially cold states, you know. Um, well, I wasn't depressed, but I was getting to that point where that weather was really affecting me and I was, I, I was feeling so homesick and I couldn't survive. I couldn't take it. I could not handle the cold British weather, especially, um, winter time, you know, where it, you know winter time it gets dark so early like three o'clock it's already i mean 3 p.m 4 p.m it's already dark outside and summers and spring i was okay but oh my god winter time 
that for me uh 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 right now i don't know i miss i miss going back like to visit uk but not to live there and it's not just uk that has weather like this you see here in in arizona we have weather you know the same kind of weather but for me this cold weather sent me back <laughs> so if uk had different states like now having the way us has different states different kind of weather now look at me here in arizona i would rather deal with the heat guys i can take 117 degrees 120 degrees uh anytime 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 because you know the thing is when it's too hot you can always turn on the ac i mean what are you doing outside you can only you can always shop in the morning or shop in the evening when it cools down but during the day you just avoid going out kabisa kabisa because mornings and evenings are fine the only times that it's too hot is like during the day and you just avoid going out when it's too hot during the day so I mean, I guess we can have a perfect, if you want a perfect, you just go and live in California <laughs> or we go back to Africa. I mean, California weather is good. It gets hot too. Uh, I don't know. I think California, it can get a little bit hot as well. Not as much as <laughs> it gets here in Phoenix, but uh, you know what? We can't complain. We thank God. For me, I honestly thank God for the opportunity just to be here. You know, it doesn't matter which part of America you are, as long as you're here. And it's a blessing. I mean, for the people who were not, um, things were not very good back home for them. And God opened the doors for them to come here. Because America is not for everyone, you know. This kind of weather is not for everyone. And these countries are not for everyone. Some people are blessed, you know, in our countries. Some people are blessed. They just come here to visit. And some people, everything is going good for them. So, no need of them coming to stay here. I mean, dealing with this kind of weather. <laughs> I'm, uh, you know. So, in life... The best thing to do is to be content, you know, like be happy where you are. In 2023, I'm choosing to be more positive and be happy with what I have and what I got. Honestly, guys, my 2023 has started so well. I cannot complain. I thank God because uh, some of the things I prayed for, I have seen you know the hand of god you know and it's not about money it's not about wealth let's not just think about all these like money money things it's about god answering prayers different different things we prayed for you know even just being healthy and alive it's a blessing and our kids being healthy and alive it's a blessing so count your blessings guys count your blessings and thank you so much for coming with me to this place <laughs> make sure you like the video please like just give me the likes and also you can share my video make sure you ask a friend tell a friend to tell a friend that betty az has a channel and also you guys ask them to subscribe let's keep growing by the grace of god i pray to hit a hundred thousand before mid this year it's possible right you just have to confess and have to believe that it is possible there is nothing impossible with god so i want to believe that you guys will still be here um walking with me through this channel this is our channel guys this is not my channel it's our channel
Hi guys! Finally, finally at the Winter Park. So for those of you who keep asking me if it snows in Arizona, this is to remind you that it does snow. This is uh, uh, the high country. They call it the high country. Uh, this is Flagstaff, Arizona. As you can see the beauty of, uh, I'm sure in the, you know, I've shown you a lot driving around. So, <laughs> or you're gonna see on the video driving around, you know, uh, all these places. So this is the winter park. We're gonna go sledge. I'm with my kids and I am with some other friends as well. So guys, this is how it looks. This is the high country. Let me move, go sledge. Go, 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 go over there and sledge. We had to get a big car because this place, you cannot just, uh, I can't drive my car, Toyota. You guys know my car. I can't drive it here and I'm freezing. It's actually, the temperature is like 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's very cold. That is like uh, zero degrees Celsius or maybe uh, minus. So <laughs> this is how it looks like guys. So Ooh, today I have a lot of souls. I keep saying so, 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 so. <laughs> oh my God, I hope, I hope you like this. Uh, Cause I do, it's beautiful, beautiful. I feel like now I'm in America because of all this. Yeah, you know, when you live in the, in the valley, by the way, the valley where we live, it's raining a lot nowadays. Uh, that is our truck. We are driving that big machine 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 but for the most part i'm not the one driving so that is the, the truck we're driving in guys Ooh, having fun kids are enjoying i'm gonna take some pictures and keep for the memories yay thank you for coming with me to flagstaff wow how many how many inches look guys look here guys Woo! <laughs> so fresh this snow is like, whew, I don't know how many inches, look. <laughs> it's a lot. Oh my God. I don't want to be sick. Can someone be sick? <laughs> my pants are wet. Guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. Darren. Oh my god, I can't even tell where this boy is at. Huh? He's disappeared. Oh my god, look at all this snow, guys. This place, huh? It's crazy. Come try again. Naila, make us know, man. We need to go home.
Naila, you're not cold. Now, for those who don't know, I'll tell you a little bit about this highway, US Route 66. This highway was established on November 11, 1926. Were you born then? <laughs> I think my grandma was born. She's, my grandma is turning 102. She's still alive and very healthy. So I'm sure maybe she knows about this road here, this highway. So have you watched some of the films that were shot on this route? You know, some people, they, they enjoy watching those uh, cowboy, are they called cowboy? Those old movies. Uh, for example, Easy Rider. Uh, that was 1969. Uh-huh. Were you born? The Grapes of Wrath, Baghdad Cafe, No Country for Old Men, Liz, uh, Little Miss Sunshine, National Lampoon's Vacation, Starman. <laughs> oh my goodness, you can tell I'm Googling, huh? If I had the money and time, I would just drive around United States, like cross country. You know, get to see so many different states. And I think... Uh, I'm going to make it my goal to travel to a new state every year. I don't know if I can do that, but why not, you know? Uh, some people have been to so many different states. I've been to like five so far. I've been to, which, I've been to Seattle. I've been to Texas, Las Vegas, California, and that's it and i hope to travel to other states too because i want to see i want to see uh all the 50 <laughs> all the 50 states and look guys 66 motel right there i'm sure uh you've seen those kind of motels in the movies and tell me, do you prefer to sleep in a motel or a hotel? Because for me, Betty here, me being Betty AZ, I prefer to go to sleep in a hotel. Mm, I understand some people, they are travelers. Like if you are a travel YouTuber, obviously you're not going to be sleeping in a, in a, like a big hotel all the time because you want to save money. And also, uh, depends with your job. If you're a trucker, truck drivers, obviously you're not going to be sleeping in like a Marriott all the time. Uh, no, like when you're going for a good vacation, like a vacation or staycation, something, 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 just get a good hotel. Like that's what I prefer. Hmm. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the video. I do appreciate each one of you. You guys are the best. Huh? You guys are awesome. I really, really do appreciate you. Ah, uh, okay. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> Don't forget to come back for more. I hope you have that notification bell on because this year is gonna be a video after video right now i'm not posting much because i'm so busy with my job oh my gosh guys but i'm trying i'll try my best to post as much as i can uh it's not like i don't have content it's just that i'm 
oh, it's been busy working full time, trying to pay the bills. But guess what? I'm trying. I cannot just leave this channel hanging like that without posting a video. So I'll keep trying my best. Yeah, <laughs> because you guys are awesome.